Welcome to the Timers tutorial. Insert the new network and give the title. Titles are not necessary but it helps to understand the different parts of program. First insert the normally open contact, then insert the on delay timer from program element which is on the left hand side. Expand the timer menu and select on delay timer. Now we have to configure the on delay timer. Let's indicate the timer as T1. Then give address to the normally open contact I0.2. Then we have to give input to the timer. That is period of time for which the timer delays the output. We have to enter time in standard format, that is S, 5 hash T, after that enter the time to be, delayed in seconds. Insert the output coil, and give address Q 0 0.1. R is the reset bit for timer, we can reset the timer at any time, by giving input to the reset bit. Download the program to the module, and compile it. Then start to monitor the program. You can see the status of program in status bar. Now the program is in run mode. Now switch on the input I0.2. You can see timer starts reverse counting. As the time finished output is switched on. As I switch off the input, output becomes off. Now we will move on to the pulse timer. Insert the new network with name as Pulse Timer. Insert the Pulse Timer block from the program elements on the left hand side of the screen. Indicate the timer as T2. Insert one normally open contact and output coil, and address both of them. Put the required time of span in specific format, as we do it earlier, for which you have to turn on the output. Here I turned the output on for 5 seconds, after that it will be turned off automatically. Download the program to the module, and compile it. Then start to monitor the program. As the given time is over, the output will off. Now we will see the application of the pulse timer, for alternating switching the outputs. For alternating switching outputs here I use two pulse timer T3 and T4 with the same input as I0.5. As I switched on the input I0.5, output will on for 5 seconds. When output Q0.3 will become off then timer T4 will become on, as in series we put the negate of both the outputs, Q0.4 and Q0.3. In this way we can use this pulse timer, where alternate switching of output will required. In next session we will see counters and comparators.